what is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we are going to talk about the best sweeper war maidens the best war maidens for taking down those bandits before we get started make sure you guys are girls subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video or when we live stream we will be live streaming our pvp event which is stage five of mightiest lord this weekend in about three days from now depending on when you're watching this i have a more in-depth guide about how to efficiently take it down the bandits uh that is in my stage two video of mightiest lord so make sure you check that out i'll leave a link to that down below in the description box because in this video we're just going to talk mainly about the sweeper type war maiden so we have our first one here yao yun yao yun this is your pay to win sweeper absolutely amazing rightfully so the unfortunate thing like i said it is pay to win you will unlock her on your first purchase and then from there, in order to get her soul gems, you will get those through the VIP pack purchases right here. I believe if you buy all of them from VIP one to VIP nine, you will max out her skills. Then once you get to VIP 10, you will have the option to unlock the second pay to win war maiden, but she is focused on hacking cities. So that's for a whole nother video an amazing sweeper early game um, if you have the cash to spend and you buy a couple of those vip packs and power her up just a bit you will be at a huge advantage early game her active skill does a tremendous amount of damage when it's all the way leveled up 1400 damage multiplier and then we do additional damage as well She's probably one of the best sweepers because all of her active skills, you'll see, have to do with increasing attack. We have cavalry speed and attack. We have increased troop damage against bandits. This is absolutely amazing. And then we have basic attacks have a percentage chance to deal additional damage. Uh, we have basic attacks have a 10% chance to cause the target to take 15% more damage for three seconds. It increases as you level it up maxing out at 30 for her talent tree i'm just going to go over this briefly if you do decide to get her um you're going to mostly focus on her sweeper ability and skill however if you are going to use her in more of a open field pvp situation then you would go with the cavalry and skill build so as you see, I built her strictly for the bandits, so we went with the sweeper and skill build. So these ones right here, absolutely amazing. You need to unlock these as soon as possible. Reduces your stamina cost when attacking the bandits. And then also this one giving you extra XP when you destroy the bandits. Another notable one that's very important is increases your troops basic attack damage against the bandits by 12% when it's maxed out. Um, ultimately though you want to get right here because you get that heals a portion of your lightly wounded units. This lets you stay out on the battlefield longer so that way you can sweep the bandits faster. The whole thing with sweeping the bandits is you don't want to get into a, a problem where your war maidens or your troops are just not strong enough and you have to kind of send them out, you attack a bandit and then you have to have them come back to heal up because you're wasting a tremendous amount of time. The whole idea with this is you want to be as fast and efficient as possible. You want to attack one of the bandits and then immediately look for another one that is out on the field. And you just kind of want to bounce from one to another. The longer you can stay out on the field attacking the bandits, the better. You don't want to have to keep coming back to heal your troops up. That's going to really, really hurt you when it comes to events like PvE events like Stage 2 of the Bandit for Mightiest Lord and various other events. Now for the skill, you really want to try and get the ones that increase your rage because as we went over, she has an absolutely amazing active skill. We want her active skill to go off all the time. I mean, as much as you can. Take a look at another legendary sweeper right here, uh, Dang Lao. She is another uh, somewhat pay to win hero. You can get her soul gems 
from the daily deals right here. Uh, it is a chance, it's not guaranteed from the soul crate. If you look right here, you have a chance to get between one and 10 of her soul gem. Now you can also pull her though, and her soul gems from the premium wish as well. So not all hope is lost. If you don't have money to spend, you could possibly get her through this. She is another absolutely broken, broken sweeper. She's going to be one that you're going to want to have as your main and then uh, not necessarily your secondary. I would use her as a main because she is an absolute speed demon. If you take a look, you'll see cavalry, sweeper, and mobility. So you can get around the map extremely fast with her with the correct build. So that's why you want to have her as the primary. Remember, the primary war maiden gets the talent buffs. The secondary war maiden only their skills their active skill and their passive skills will be in effect for the march so that's very important depending on who you put as your primary and your secondary she is an absolutely amazing primary because not only will you get her benefit of stuff like increasing your cavalry travel speed but the talent tree alone has mobility which if you go through here and you pick out the mobilities you will be flying around the map fast. You have stuff like increased squad travel speed by a percentage. You have stuff like when you leave a building, it increases your travel speed for 10 seconds. But again, the main focus for her is you're gonna wanna do these ones first. You're gonna want to reduce your stamina cost. You're going to want to increase that XP gain. And then you also have this one right here that you're going to want to get increased squad travel speed. This main focus of her is to make her as fast as possible. So that way you can go from bandit to bandit as quick as possible. So you really want to look for the specific abilities that will increase the travel speed of your squad. And then if you go to cavalry, you can go ahead and you can take some of these cavalry skills if you want. Again, I mainly am looking for the ones that increase speed. So right here we have increased cavalry travel speed. I'm, I'm The way I'm building her, I want to make her as fast as possible. So she's going to be a primary that just flies around the map destroying the bandits. Um, another one we have right here is another sweeper, uh, Zurong, Zarong. Definitely a bit harder to get her upgraded skills early game. That is the only unfortunate thing. There's no way to really buy her upgrade skills. You have a chance to get her soul gems from your right here when you get your chest your uh, top tier one crate that you get right here that has a chance to drop her soul gems uh, it's very very low honestly you might get lucky but she's a hard character to really level up um your best bet whether you're free to play or even spending a little money is going to be uh zao kang absolutely amazing she has a dedicated event for her where you can get a tremendous amount of her soul gems extremely easy now i'll go and let me uh just go into my items so i can show you the, there's an event that pops up you go around you destroy bandits and you will get these headdresses um you'll get like an uncommon one which is the green and then you'll get like an elite one which is the blue and all you do is you click use and it will summon her onto the battlefield and then you will set a rally your guild members will join your rally your attack and then whoever participated in the rally will get an amount of soul gems sometimes it'll be one sometimes it could be up to like four sometimes you won't get any as far as i know there is no limit so as long as you have those headdresses you can keep summoning her and you can farm her soul gems literally forever until you run out of the headdresses or materials to summon them so absolutely amazing amazing sweeper she has the multi-talent sweeper support i'm gonna go over her build real quick do not put anything into her multi-talent multi-talent is absolutely a horrible horrible skill tree what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on sweeper and support for her um if you take a look she focuses mainly on healing her active skill does do some decent damage but she also heals which is amazing you also have your damage against bandits you also have the XP increase, which is amazing. Look at this, 70%, absolutely insane. 
She is so good. If you ever need XP for any of your other War Maidens, throw them in as a secondary War Maiden in a march with Zhao Kang as your primary, and you will get a ton of XP to level up your other War Maidens. Absolutely amazing. If you can get this skill to five, you are set for XP. And then she also has another passive skill which heals as well. So like I said, use her as a primary if you are trying to level up another War Maiden. So like if I was to do Bandits and uh, I just wanted to level up someone else, I'd put her as my primary and then i put like uh, her. She's only level one, say I want to level her up. Put her as my secondary and bam, she'll be like level 10 after just a few hits of Bandits. Uh, otherwise, you could use her as a secondary uh, support more Maiden for her skills. You can get that healing, which will let you stay out longer. So use her as like a secondary if you're going heavy in like a specific event. Primary if you want to grind out the XP. Then we have another epic sweeper, Medea. Medea. Cavalry sweeper mobility. Very similar to uh, Zhang Lao right here where she is the legendary version pretty much. Build her to be a speed demon. Her uh, active ability is not bad. Decreases target attack by a percentage and defense and deals an amount of damage. Pretty decent. She also buffs your damage against the bandits which is good but it's not as high as a legendary if you notice that. It is only 35% for an epic, while the legendaries are, I believe, 50%. She would be another sweeper that you would have as a primary. But that is it for today, folks. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. Stay happy, stay safe, peace.